give them the water of wisdom to drink. It will be made strong in them and will not be moved. It will raise them up forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these secret mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you. We adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us Paschal Redeemer, Endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that in sense of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, for the promises made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation, those who accept accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Responsorial Psalm. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth, the earth is, full is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord 
and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right of the kindness of the Lord. The earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope in his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, um, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Jesus. Good morning, everyone. So we knew that Mary went to the tomb early that morning, and she was so sad. She was weeping and did not remember what the Lord told them that he will be resurrected on the third day. As I said yesterday, our Blessed Mother was not with them, for she was waiting. She remembered, and she was waiting for her resurrected son. And as we all know already, uh, the ancient tradition of the Catholic uh, Church is that the Lord went first. He, he appeared first to his mother. That's why our Blessed Mother was not with them, because she knew that he will be resurrected. Mary did not recognize the Lord, for she was sad. And she did not expect that he will be resurrected. She did not remember that part. And sometimes when you are so sad, that's what happened to us also. We forget to remember the 
Lord, who said that he is the way, the truth, and the life, that in this life there is hope. She was sad, and she did not recognize the Lord. She was more focused on the empty tomb and on her own sadness and grief, for he loved the Lord. She said, what happened to the body of the Lord? She must have questioned herself, and she has no answer to these things. But it only took one word from our risen Lord when he called her by name. Mary, and immediately she recognized him. <coughs> and with joyful feeling, she must run to the Lord, and she also uh, ran to tell the other disciples, I have seen the Lord. And in her joy, or her joy, should also be our own joy. For we are all resurrected people of God. That's why we are not meant to be sad. Because for all these centuries, the church continues to proclaim that we are all resurrected people of God and we uh, should be joyful like Mary. Church continue to announce that the Lord is risen. Christ is alive. The very essence of our faith, our Christianity. It is not enough that we just know about the Lord, but that we know Him. And personally uh, interacted with him in the sacraments that we receive. And so this Easter season, continue to encounter the Lord in the Holy Eucharist. And in this Easter joy, we share it also to all those who encounter, we encounter in his life. And in this uh, holy season, the Lord gives us also the eyes of faith to see the truth of His resurrection, to continue to proclaim that He is alive, that He is risen, to see the truth of His resurrection and victory over sin and death. This greatest event of our Catholic faith resurrection of Jesus continues to be the foundation of all our hopes that we will see God one day face to face in his everlasting glory and joy when our time comes. So continue that desire to do his will, to do his, um, to do God's commandments so that when our time comes, we will be rewarded to be in that heavenly banquet, to be in that beautiful place that He prepared for us. This is the season may we love Him more fully, even without seeing Him just like Mary. But God continues to call us by our name, like Mary. So we believe in Him and rejoice in His glorious resurrection. Today we still recognize the Lord's presence in us, in His words, in the Holy Scriptures that we heard, on the bread, on the body of Christ that we receive, on those around us, and on on your pastors as Christ, person, and Christian. That's where we encounter Him every day. 
especially when we go and receive his body and as we continue our celebration we pray that we, we never fail to recognize our Lord's voice when he calls us nor lose a sight of his presence in his saving words in the Holy Scripture that we heard today. Please stand. And now we pray for our church, for our community, and for ourselves as we continue to pray for the intentions of our Holy Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we pray for our community here in Susanville and also the Holy Family Mission Church of Turnham that we all be protected from this deadly virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we pray for all those who are sick. We pray for healing, for rich reason, for gender sins, kids and homes, for Father John Cristiano Luna. And also for Sylvestri. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for all our catechists, all our volunteers, and teachers, our young people in our community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our own personal and special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers for all four souls in purgatory, especially for the souls of Jacob Pete, for Aida Zamaro Saban, for Eduardo San, and also for Father René de Galado, Father Cesar Ians, and Father Ben de Leon, and Father Paul. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our And all these prayers and intentions we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good through all these holy churches. Accept the compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> lift up your heart. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. With Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic voice sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, and make holy therefore this yet deeper by sending down your spirit upon them like the blue form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and give it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a seminar where the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jaime, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, in the hope of the resurrection. Remember, O Lord, Jacob, Keith, and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have cleaved you throughout the ages, we be married to the course to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And as the Savior is man and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in thy heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those bones who the suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And in the body of blood, Christ, keep us safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed in your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless everyone. Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass is ended. Go in peace, to love, and serve the Lord. Amen. Have a blessed Tuesday, everyone. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I always forget that part. <laughs>